that I am going to do two different burgers that I've never cooked before. Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life, where a great barbecue doesn't cost a fortune. Today, as I said, we're doing two different burgers and we're going to be cooking them on the gas grill, but you can do them on any grill. Um, I'm just using the gas for absolute convenience tonight. Um, so let's jump straight in and start preparing our first one. So we've got some brioche buns. We need to get some mayonnaise on these brioche buns um, and that is just going to give it a bit of fat on there and it will give us a better toast. So we get that on and then we need to get our grill preheated. So I've got a nice little flat top section on the gas grill. So it's the first time I've used the gas grill on the channel. So it's all been seasoned. We've got that flat top piece nice and hot and we're just gonna go on with our two different burger buns and get a nice sear on there. And this is gonna show you how quickly it is. They're on there like 30 seconds and that it's that they've got toast on them so it's just as quick as doing it on a commando just as quick as doing it on the weather but i've got this up to temperature in about four minutes so it's just absolute convenience we'll take them off pop them off to one side while we start preparing our other bits so i've already got some ready-made burger patties that i've had in the freezer and so we're not going to be building the burgers themselves today but we do need to build one of the condiments to go in it so i've had this harebrained scheme of putting pickle in a burger so i like beef and pickle sandwiches corned beef and pickle sandwiches leftover roast beef so i'm thinking about putting that in a burger so let's let's see where we go with it but i'm going to pimp this pickle up a fair bit so we're going to take some jarred jalapenos and we're going to chop them up and mix them through the pickle itself um, and that is going to give us our nice sauce to go through the middle get these burgers on so we've just got them on that griddle side and a couple of minutes on each side and then flip them over at the point we're flipping we're going to be going on with some cheddar cheese we've just got some squares of cheddar cheese from the local supermarket get them on and then get that pickle on top of there and we're going to let that melt down <coughs> and uh, go gooey and wonderful So once that is all melted down, we can build this onto our brioche bun. So I did put these just sort of next to the, uh, the hot plate on here, just to keep warm um, right towards the end. But we're gonna get that built and go in for a taste test. So unfortunately we do have no talking during the taste test, but as you're going to see from my face in a minute, this is one pretty epic burger. Then our second burger today, we're going to be making a cheese skirt, or we're going to have a go at making a cheese skirt. So I've done a lot of research into this and um, a lot of people have cooked them on gas grills which is another reason why I'm doing it on the gasser today. So first of all we need to start off our patty again so we're just going to get our patty down after a couple of minutes get that flipped over. And then at the point of flipping over we can go on with our cheese. So I've decided to use like a Mexicana style um, chili cheese again from the local supermarket comes in the big squares in the packets so I'm going to get that on and sit that on the top and then we're going to sprinkle some mozzarella over the top of that and round the edges so that that sits on the actual grill plate itself and this is going to give us what is called a cheese skirt so that goes quite crispy and solid around the outside and then we scrape that off when we go to building it so you can see 
that after a couple of minutes the cheese skirt is looking really nice but we're not completely melted on the top so grab the ice cube chuck an ice cube in there as well just to give us a bit of steam by the time we've got the steam melting that cheese on the top our cheese skirt has gone a little bit too far so it's a little bit sketchy but again when you're taking this off you really need to scrape it in like we do with the smash burger scrape in get all that cheese skirt off the edge and then we get that onto our bun I've dressed the bun with mayonnaise some very finely diced uh, onion and some gherkins we'll get that built I'm going to give that a taste test as well so with this taste test taking my time trying to find the best place to bite because I can see that that cheese is quite charred and I know that's going to be bitter I find a nice little spot a bit of cheese pull as well and it was really nice it would have just been better if it wasn't so charred it's a little bit of a different style video today nice quick and short one just showing you that you can still cook some wonderful food on a gas grill I know that a lot of people are completely against them but I'm really enjoying mine I've only just started really using it and uh, yeah I'm really enjoying it I'm looking forward to doing a nice breakfast we'll do a nice breakfast video uh, in the near future but yeah if you like what we're doing here at barbecue life then please do subscribe to the channel make sure you like the video leave me a comment let me know what you think and thank you very much for watching cheers